and then you just lay it onto the cylinder and we're ready to go. That's how it records. My name is James W. Foote. I perform in the capacity as Theodore Roosevelt, and we just made several Edison recordings, as Roosevelt did here at Sagamore Hill in 1915. A great democracy has got to be progressive, or soon it'll cease to be either great or a democracy. My name is Peter Dilge, and I've been uh, a collector of antique phonographs and gramophones since I've been about five years old. This stuff was just considered second-hand items, and you could find them in antique shops and thrift stores and out on the curb. I restore them, I fix them, I sell them, and we do things like this work at the Roosevelt, uh, the Roosevelt Museum. This We're celebrating here at Sagamore Hill 50 years of the National Park Service running Sagamore Hill. Sagamore Hill was Roosevelt's primary residence. Fond as I am, of the White House, and though I've much appreciated my years in it, there isn't any place in the world like home, like Sagamore Hill. <laughs> what Mr. Foote will do is he'll speak into this horn, and all the sound vibrations will come down this horn into the cutter, which is right over here. And what we got here is an 1898 uh, Studio Edison recording machine, and it's a very accurate uh, phonograph. This here is the flywheel that keeps the RPM is running real smooth. It runs at 160 RPM. And the sound goes down the horn into that hole and vibrates this glass diaphragm. When that vibrates, it cuts a groove into the wax. This is a the wax blank we're going to record on. It's a brown wax material. This blank is 100 years old. It's made of a uh, metallic soap, actually. It's not really wax. And we got to keep it a little warm while we're recording, so it will uh, pick up the vibrations good. And we get our power by winding it up like that, and then you just lay it onto the cylinder, and we're ready to go. That's how it records. Okay. Those of us who believe in progressive nationalism are sometimes dismissed with this statement that we are radical. So we are. I wish to see you boys join the party and conduct yourselves as in a football game. In other words, don't flinch, don't foul, but hit the line hard. Don't flinch, don't foul, but hit the line hard.